Hi guys, we are going to do some social studies and I think you might actually have the wrong booklet in your e-learning folder. So we're going to do the lesson on here and then we'll take the test together. Okay, here we go. A community is a place where people live. In every community, people need food, shelter, and clothing. Say community. Community. <laughs> Think, about Think about the, the things, things you and your family, family do each day. day. You, you begin, begin your day, your day at, at home. home. You go, you go to school, to school. Your, your parents, parents go, to, go work. to work, your family, your family might, might go shopping, shopping for groceries. Perhaps, Perhaps you belong to a sports, sports team or club. club. You, you probably practice or attend, or attend meetings from time, time to time. time. You, you might, might get, get the, the chance to play in the park, park once in a while. while. You, you always, always end up back home each evening. evening. You, you and your family do all these things within your community. A community is a place where people live, work, and play together. The way, the way people, people live, live usually, usually depends, depends on the type, type of community in which, in which they, they choose to live. Do you, Do you live, live in a community, community where there are lots of businesses, businesses and tall buildings and many, and many workers, workers hurrying around? around? If, if so, you, you probably, probably live in an, in an urban community. community. These, These communities, communities are usually large, large cities with many, many people living in them. them. If, if you, you live, live near, but not in, in a large city, you might live in a suburb. A suburb is a community, is a community that's smaller than a city. city. Many, Many people today live in suburbs and commute or travel to their jobs in the nearby city. city. Maybe, Maybe your community, community is very small. small. Perhaps, Perhaps many, many of the people in your area live on farms that are spread across open land. land. If, if so, so, you live in a rural, rural community. community. Rural, rural communities usually have fewer people, people living in them than other communities. Suppose, Suppose you, you had, had to choose, choose a, new a new community, community in, which in which to live. To live. How would How you make, make your choice? choice? People, People want, want to feel safe in the, in the place, place where they live. They, they want, want to feel safe when they go to work and school each day. day. Knowing, Knowing the community's the police and fire departments will be there to help them in an emergency helps them feel safe. People, People also choose where they live because they have a job in the community. People, People must, must work, work to make, make money, money to take, to take care, care of their, their families. families. So, so having a job, a job in the community, community is important. No matter, no matter what, what type, type of community you live in, there are neighbors. neighbors. All, All people, people in communities, communities have to work to get along with the other people in the community. People, people in communities, people in communities must, must be respectful of their neighbors and their neighbors' culture, culture in order for the community to continue to be a safe and peaceful place. All right, let's talk about different communities. People who live in different communities have different kinds of food, shelter, and clothing. <clears throat> there, there are millions, millions of children, children all around, around the world. world. They live, they live in, in different, different countries and have all different kinds of lives. Of lives. In, America, in America, we have, we have homes, homes made of wood, wood nails, nails, and bricks. bricks. We, we often, often live near a grocery, grocery store, store where we can buy the foods we need. We need. In, in Africa, Africa, some children live in simple homes made of dried mud and grass. grass. Sometimes, Sometimes they have, they have to, to travel far from their home, home to get water for cooking and drinking. But how are these children like us in America? They go, they go to school, school and play, play with, with their, their friends, friends just, just like you. you. In, in Mongolia, Mongolia, some children live high up on mountaintops. Mountain they, they live in tents that can withstand the wind that whips over, over the jagged peaks. peaks. Do you, you ever, ever go, go camping, camping with your, your family? family? Do you, Do you use, use a tent? tent? Then <laughs> you're a lot like the kids in Mongolia. In Indonesia, many families grow gardens. They grow sweet potatoes, corn, and peanuts. And just, and just like, like you, you, the kids, kids have, have to help, to help weed, weed the garden. garden. 
Do you, you think, think they, they dislike, dislike reading, reading as much as you? As you? They, they probably, probably do. do. In, in Russia, Russia there's, there's a lot, a lot of, of snow. snow. Just, Just like, like the, the children, children in America, in America these, these kids like, like to make a snowman, snowman and have snowball fights. fights. They, also they also like to go ice skating, skating and play ice, ice hockey. hockey. Just, Just like, like kids, kids in America. In America. Even, Even though, though children, children grow up in different places, places all over the world, world they, they really, really aren't, aren't all that, that different, different, are they? All right, let's go on to the first kind we're going to talk about, hot communities. In some communities, it is usually hot all year round. People wear clothes that help keep them cool. Let's find out about one of these hot places. Ooh, isn't that pretty? The Dominican Republic is on the island of Hispaniola in the Caribbean. The Dominican Republic, also known as the DR, isn't actually the entire island. A large part of the western side is Haiti. The DR, the DR has, has a pretty a large, large population for being in the Caribbean. 10 million people call it home. The official language in Dominican Republic is Spanish. This means a lot of the food and culture is influenced by Spanish traditions, but also Haitian as well. You'll find a lot of plantains used in Dominican cooking. Tostones are plantains that are boiled, mashed, and then fried. Beans are an essential part of Dominican cuisine. Nearly every meal has beans. Rice, Rice is, also is also a staple. A popular dessert, dessert is arroz, arroz con leche, which is, which is a delicious sweet rice pudding. pudding. If, if you're, you're sitting, sitting in a restaurant in the DR, you'll, you'll probably hear traditional merengue music. music. It's, hard it's hard to sit, to sit still, still when you hear it. It, it makes people want to get up and dance. dance. Heading, Heading out to the, to the ocean, ocean for a swim? swim? You, you could run, run into a few really cool animals. animals. The endangered species, the manatee, like the warm waters off the coast of the Dominican Republic. There are also plenty of whales and dolphins. If you enjoy bird watching, you'll love it in the Dominican Republic. There are 290 bird species, and many of them are brightly colored. The most popular sport in the DR is baseball. Many of the United States' best Major League Baseball players have come from there. Albert Pujols, Hanley Ramirez, David Ortiz, Juan Marical, and Pedro Martinez are just a small handful of the greatest talent American baseball has ever seen and they, they all come, come from the Dominican, Dominican Republic. Republic. Even, Even though the, the DR is an island country, country it, also it also has tall, tall mountains. mountains. Pico, Pico Duarte, Duarte is the highest peak, peak in the entire Caribbean, Caribbean islands, islands, reaching 10,164 10, feet above sea level. And during, and during especially cold, cold weather, weather, it even snows on the mountain. On the mountain. It's, a it's a difficult hike, hike and often hikers use donkeys to carry their equipment, but the view makes it completely worth it. Let's find out about cold communities. I think I'd like the hot better. When you think of Santa Claus, you might think of the North Pole at the top of the world. But what about the opposite end? Down south, as far as you can go, is Antarctica. This place isn't a country because no one lives there permanently. It is just considered a continent. Antarctica covers an area of 5.4 million square miles and is the fifth largest continent. 98% of Antarctica is covered in very thick ice. Some of it is over one mile thick. But that would make sense because the average temperature is negative 81 degrees Fahrenheit. Talk about cold. While no one lives in Antarctica permanently, there are many people that live there temporarily. Scientists from all over the world come there to conduct experiments that couldn't be done anywhere else in the world because of the inhospitable conditions. The largest research station is the McMurdo Station in Antarctica. It is very large and can house up to 1,000 people at a time. Some of the things that are studied are radiation, plate tectonics, meteorites, and even how certain diseases change in extreme temperatures. Antarctica does not belong to any country in the world. In 1959, 12 countries signed the Antarctic Treaty. This treaty stated that Antarctica is set aside for scientific investigation and bans military activity. This ensures that Antarctica remains a safe place for research and discovery.
In some communities, there is plenty of sunshine and rain. Many different kinds of foods will grow. In other communities, it is very dry or very rainy. Only a few different kinds of foods will grow. Some homes have fans or an air conditioner for hot weather. Some homes have a furnace or fireplace for cold weather. What does your house have? People who live in Florida often wear shorts and sandals. Farmers in Florida can grow lots of fruits and vegetables. Oranges, tomatoes, strawberries, and corn grow in Florida. People who live in Alaska often wear heavy coats and snow boots. People who live in Alaska get most of their fruits and vegetables from other places. Everyone likes to hear teachers and parents say, good job. To do a good job, you have to keep trying. Don't give up, even if something is hard to do. Now we're going to take our quiz over this lesson. You have a quiz in your packet that looks like this. Number one. A community is a place where people live. A, yes. B, no. That was a community is a place where people live. Number two, people who live in different communities have the same kinds of food, shelter, and clothing. A, yes. B, no. In winter, people in Alaska wear... Shorts and t-shirts or heavy coats. Notice this said in winter. And Alaska was the cold place. Number four. People in Alaska get most fruits and vegetables from other places. B. Grow all of their own fruit and vegetables. Which of these do people in warm communities not wear? Sandals, shorts, or heavy coats? Food needs blank to grow. A, sunshine and water. B, darkness and dryness. Which of these are ways, number seven, to warm your home? Air conditioner and fan or fireplace and furnace? Circle the correct one. Everyone likes to hear a teacher or parent say, good job. What does that mean? What does it mean when people tell you, good job? All right. Good job. Bye.